President Obama criticized the Bush administration's use of military tribunals for suspected terrorists when he was on the campaign trail last year, but now he's reinstituting them, those tribunals, with some serious revisions. The move comes on the heels of the president's decision to continue former President Bush's fight to block the release of those prisoner abuse photos, and both decisions have drawn fire from the left if some praise from the right. So is President Obama right to revive those military tribunals? Pat Buchanan's an MSNBC political analyst. And David Korn is a Washington bureau chief with a huge bureau behind him for the Mother Jones magazine. I'm just kidding. I Bigger just, than well, many newspapers these days. Very small Chris, bureau six, behind six, seven me. Just kidding. We're a dying breed of print, guys. Patrick, is it smart to have military tribunals? Now, these are like the ones apparently used in that very small case of some... Uh, German submariners that came in here and tried to blow up some stuff yeah. back in World uh, War II. A very unique case. They're used against military prisoners. Is this an appropriate way to try these guys? I think it is because these fellows are, they're not prisoners of war. They're involved in acts of terrorism, you know, and, and, you, and they're not Americans like McVeigh. And I think Obama has, look, he's backed off a little bit from what he said, but he's the president of the United States. He's facing some serious problems, and he looked at this. And this is the best option. What do you do with guys? These are men yeah. who we know are enemies. They, 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 right. they pray yeah. every day against yeah. us. They swear at us. They throw crap yeah. at our guards. I'm yeah. sure they let it be known pretty well they're our enemy. Do you ever let them go? Well, you, I mean, well, can you let go of a guy who's going to immediately join up with Al Qaeda, immediately start bombing us, start killing our guys? What well, do you no, do with no, a guy who's a war, who's really is see, an enemy of the country? That's a question separate from whether to use military commissions or not. Military commissions are where you think you have a prosecutable case against someone using different rules than you would in the federal court. In the federal court, we were able to convict the blind sheik who was behind the 1993 World Trade Center bombings, and of course, Zacharias Massawi, the so-called 20th hijacker. That's because they came back you and know, tried to get the, the deposit well, on the rental truck. Well, well, never How many people are, you willing to do, are yeah. stupid enough to do that? But, but we were able to use that, put them into the federal system. And, and yeah. the military commissions also, we're talking about, the estimate now is between 10 and 20 people. There are 241 guys in Guantanamo. A lot will go into the federal system. And the question is whether you use these, whether you Can have you make a case against these guys? They, rind, right, they rounded up over in Afghanistan or Iraq or yeah. wherever they rounded them up. They're right. clearly part of the enemy posse against well, us. What you, How do you, well, they maybe, maybe, how do you prove a crime? Well, maybe Here's they are, maybe out. they're not. Some guys were picked up, we now know, innocently, and they were held for years. Right. So it's not that easy a call to say that just because they're suspects, they're guilty. Here's what you can do, Chris, and they haven't done. If you get the Totenkopf SS, it is a criminal organization. Right. Membership in it constitutes a crime. Membership in okay. Al-Qaeda constitutes a crime. Is that right? Well, if we can do that, that we well, 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 Then what do you hold them for? How many years? No, no, actually, you can hold them maybe five or ten years. And then what do you do with them? Well, well, well if that's the case, maybe you've got to let them go then, but at least you got a crime. I agree. I agree. I agree. Well, I, listen, my worry is you can put a guy away and maybe no, uh, time no, served no. As, as part of their defense. You get a guy that's already been held five or seven years, these no, guys. No. What do you do at the end of their terms and the guy looks you in the face, thumbs his nose, and he says, I'm going to go kill your brothers? That's a hard call. But, you know, conspiracy to commit Terrorism is actually kind of an easier crime to prove than proving even yeah, membership okay. in Should they be treated so as criminals or POWs, these guys? They're not prisoners of war under the Geneva criminals? Convention. They're, they're, I think they are enemy combatants and terrorists, but they're not POWs. POWs they're not are captured in uniform. They're not McVeigh. No. They're not doing so uh, so uh, things no, on American it, it, soil. It, it is tricky, but what was wrong with the military commissions was that at the beginning they had absolutely no due what process. What were they doing to these people, the military commissions, before this election was held? Well, they were trying to give them some trials, but the trials were completely but collapsing. But then what they do with them? Because, well, then the question is, well, you sentence them, presumably, and put them in jail for 5, 10, 15, 20 years of life. Chris, you've got to have military no. tribunals, because, look, you get sources well, and methods. Suppose you got one of these no, guys who killed have, somebody, and wait a minute. We you got information, you got information from, from guys that are leaking right out of Obama's organization. Yeah. You go into trial, and the guy says, okay, where's okay. your witness? But, you can't do okay, it. Here's what, 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 what the president says now. He wants to have nobody, no evidence can be used in these military tribunals from torture. Right. And no evidence that's hearsay. In right. other words, the general rules of a trial in a criminal case, right. Uh, right. They, they can pick their own lawyers. Right. So right. they're getting a lot no, of no, advantages he, here as, as this, rights. These, right. are, these are big improvements over the existing system. But the system still has a fatal flaw. And, and I think in some ways it's going to slow down uh, justice because the rules and procedures for these military commissions have been challenged from day one. Say discovery. How much discovery yeah, can right. you have? Well, and if, they, if the government's holding evidence that's exculpable, 
Then, well, you know, then, then what do you do well, about that? Well, their lawyers are going to figure that, why you, that information gonna, directly to the enemy. You can't have well, the American we, court yeah, rules. Of course. You can't well, have them. It, it did work in, in Zachary's What happens if you're, what happens if you're a sharp cheek. lawyer? If you're a Johnny Conker for sure. these guys, yeah. you're a sharp lawyer, Edward Bennett well, Williams, either, and you say, okay, I want all the evidence yeah, against yeah. my client. Okay, yeah. you immediately put it in a, a, a Xerox it or whatever, you send it a, right overseas to your enemy. But right now, right right now, there's something called the Classified Information Protection Act, which in a criminal case in a federal court, you don't get classified information and, and in the way that you can disseminate that way. You Why have not? access to it. Once you get no, access to it, no, 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 you're no, 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 it's, it's, Chris, do you have, you, it's true that you, okay. that's bottom how they did, line, that's how they did the in other cases. But there are provisions for dealing with classified but bottom evidence. line is, look, Barack Obama, his lawyers, they're able people, they, they're moderate people, mm. they want to, and they've decided this is the best thing they got, and I think you got to believe they're loving that this, this is, from Pat Buchanan. well, look, I mean, these guys, look, Look, I think they're interested in the security of the country, and they're interested okay. in human rights, okay, and it's the best question. deal Let's they got. Let's get back to our yeah. strong terrain here, our, our best <laughs> turf, our home turf. Is Barack Obama buckling to Cheney and other criticism by doing things like this and not releasing those abuse photos from overseas? No, wait a minute. No. Is this a pattern where he's hearing the footsteps politically? Well, I think it's been a good week for Dick Cheney because you have, these, my point. You have these decisions. Now, I do so believe... Cheney is having an influence with I'm his rear guard, his rear guard I'm attack. I'm not sure it's because of Cheney, although I'm sure... Well, what's the pressure? Part. Well, I think... I, actually, I think the pressure on the photos comes from the Pentagon. If you release those photos, then the next day there are stories out there saying that Petraeus and Oderno, you know, our, our top yeah. commanders, argue to keep the photos secret, that's a political problem regardless of what Dick Cheney's saying about it. He has to stay solid with those guys. So he has to stay solid. And he, he does, uh, I agree. So you think, I you think there's pressure from the right sport. Cheney's working here. Cheney, to some degree, it's working. But let me tell you, Afghanistan, he doubles down. He's bombing Pakistan. He's hanging on in Iraq. you got the photos. you got the military commissions. No, uh, no commission investigating mm. the torture stuff. No prosecution. Yeah. Oh, what Obama is, Chris, he is a pragmatic guy. He says, I'm, I may have talked left but if I go out here on the left on all these issues, I am okay. dead in four years. Do you years. think he might be backed into the war in Afghanistan and all this other yeah, stuff yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. about, the way Kennedy was backed into Vietnam? I think the way, in, yeah, in I think Kennedy, I'm not going to be a wimp. I think that was part he of it. He was backed into it. Exactly. I'm not going to have Here's it. my problem, Pat. You might so have instinct. You made a war without instinct. If he's fighting this war in Afghanistan and all this stuff we're talking right. about without instinct, he doesn't really have the blood rushing on this thing. I worry because he, he may not believe it. He doesn't like this war in Afghanistan. He doesn't like this war in That's Afghanistan. dangerous. He, but he's you know, trying to war you don't he, believe he's in. He's certainly committed to the importance of it and trying to get it right. Whether he does get it right is another issue. And I think on the Truth Commission... You're sure he's not just backing up here? Uh, well, I, listen, I think he wants to solve the problem. I think he, yeah. I think he knows that it's serious. Would he have ever taken us into Afghanistan if he were president back in 2001? Uh, I don't think Al Gore would... Uh, well, oh, go no, to would Barack Afghanistan. Obama have gone to Afghanistan? Yes, there would have been an attack on some element. Would he, he, he would not have gone into I Iraq. Think he might have the come problem out was the detour into I think he might have come out of Afghanistan. Look, this guy was reluctant to double down. Yeah. He was pushed into doubling down in Afghanistan. I smell the 60s. Thank you, Pat Buchanan. And I don't like the 60s in that way. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I like the other part of the 60s. Thank you, David Korn. None of it was any good, Chris. Oh, Patrick, your side lost. Yeah, yeah.